you very much. I thank my colleague for yielding, and I thank you, as always, for continuing this special order hour. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I wish I could stand on this House floor today and say that Republicans are playing with fire when they refuse to fund the government. But I can't do that because what they are doing is much worse. They are playing with people's very lives. They have made it abundantly clear that they care more about scoring political points and embarrassing this administration than addressing the needs of the American people. The government shutdown has had an immediate impact on many people across this nation, furloughing more than 800,000 federal workers, stopping nutritional and clinical support for women, infants, and children, and delaying life-saving research at NIH. My office continues to receive calls from distressed constituents about the status of Medicaid, of Social Security, and of SNAP. While we can reassure them that such programs will continue to operate, their concern and anxiety demonstrates the price everyday Americans must pay when Congress fails. Over the past few years, no issue has consumed more of the public's attention than health care reform. But unfortunately for the American people, much of what has been said bears no reality, no relation to reality. Republicans have tried to make the case that health care reform will raise health care costs catastrophically and drive up the cost of Medicare or increase the deficit. These claims are simply not true. The truth is the Affordable Care Act will slow overall health care spending, decrease Medicare spending, and decrease our deficit. All this will be accomplished while expanding health care coverage, cutting costs for seniors, and eliminating health disparities for communities of color. Unfortunately, Republicans are so focused on preventing the expansion of health care that they are willing to hurt individuals in communities that are still struggling to rebound from our economic downturn. Already as many as 19,000 children in 11 states have been left out of Head Start programs because grant money ran out on September 30th. Several large defense contractors have started placing workers on notice that they may be furloughed. The 9 million mothers and children that rely on the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, better known as WIC, are facing the possibility that they may lose their benefits, and our local federal courts may be crippled by furloughs as soon as next week. The growing economic impact of this shutdown is extremely difficult to measure. The human and social impacts, like the loss of money for food, housing, or educational opportunities, are impossible to quantify. The Affordable Care Act is the law of the land, passed by both chambers of Congress, signed by the President, and confirmed as constitutional by the Supreme Court. Until Republicans accept this fact, the government will be shut down and the American people will have been let down by the majority party of this body.